musician Zahara has recently made headlines for fighting for what belongs to her. She was quoted as saying that she has a legal team and plans to take action against her former recording label in a dispute over royalties. She's now on the mend after an illness and is back spreading her message of hope through her music. Zahara joins us now in our studio for more on the challenges, the lessons, and more importantly, what lies ahead insofar as the music is concerned. It's so lovely to see you. You look great, by the way. Thank you so much. I mean, welcome <laughs> to Newsroom Africa. And goes. You know, so much has been said, and I'm sure you've seen yeah, parts I've of seen. it, right? And we're not even going to try and well. quantify that. But let's set the record straight. Um, how are you doing? I'm okay. I am fine. The reason why, um, obviously, you will ask, good, how am I doing? After all, everything that has been happening, yeah. uh, I know it will take this toll because it's not easy for us as artists to actually go out there and say, I wanted to be the first one because I don't want to be, I wanted to break that because of people, of artists. Don't be scared to say you broke. Don't be scared to say you don't have like, money to buy bread tomorrow. Mm. Because you must remember, we like you. You come to the office nine to five, right? You make millions for the company, but you walk away end of the month with 10,000. Whilst you were working the whole month, and you made millions and millions for the company, but you walk away end of the month with 10,000. So it's like with us as artists, it's not like what you see, what you think you see. It's not what you see, because you see it on TV. Yeah. So the reason why they, we go through so much depression, and then people, they end up taking drugs, they end up taking things, because you don't want to speak. You feel like they don't want to go back home if things are tough. You don't want to, because you have kept the standard of the TV that you show in the videos, which is not your life. Those are not your cars. Those are not your houses. Mm. It's difficult because, you know, there's also a putting of artists like you on a pedestal, you know. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's expectations that yeah. the portrayal that you are uh, sort of conveying is yeah. really something that you can sustain. Yeah. In your own corner, when yeah. you take stock of everything, what was running through your mind as the rumors were going on, the speculation was taking place, because it was important for you to also keep your mind in a certain state. I promise it was very difficult, because the reason why I was now even ill, because they told me my BP was very high. Yeah. Uh, they were asking me so many questions, are you stressed? Are you, what, I'm like, hey, bro, we were born in stress. But yes, I am stressed. <laughs> we're born in stress, we are living in stress. Everybody, yes. <laughs> you know, it's just stressful life. But for me, for what I've worked for, I mean, think about it. I'm a girl from a village. Yeah. I picked up that guitar and I played lowly way. I was found singing lowly way. Destiny. I was found singing Ndiza. I was found singing, I always have my guitar. I was found singing all those songs. It's not like I learned them here in Joburg. And do you think that's what made those moments difficult for you? The fact that, you know, this is not necessarily a world that you were used to, as it were, you know, being in Joburg being exposed to so many things. Let me ask you this question. Is there any regrets you have? I do not have. Because whatever I went through in life, it, it means for, for me, because I'm a Christian, so I believe the higher the calling, the higher the challenges. But the process, it, it, it's, it's too difficult. I know after this, there's something that God has prepared for me. Mm. But it's just I don't see it yet. And I don't know how to go to it yet. It's just that the process right now is just difficult. But I know he never brought me this far to leave me. And there's a song about that, which I'm sure you want to sing, but we'll, we'll spare us for that. That was going. I just won't give up now. I came too far from where I started from. Nobody told me the road will be easy, but I don't believe he promised this far to leave me. Oh, man. We all know it's the genuine voice. Beautiful stuff. I, I was tempted to join you, but I was going to ruin it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, speaking about, you know, music carrying us through certain phases, no leeway was exactly that, you know, from Lengoma, Umtwalo, Destiny that you've just mentioned, and, and several others. Those were songs where you were describing your life yes, as it was, yes. you know. Um, so I guess, how much does music help in these moments? Okay, it, it's different with me because I write about my life. Mm -hmm. Each and every song that you hear from the album, Lolly Way to, let me show you something so you can 
yourself, you trek the trail, right? I write about my life. If you want to know mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally where I'm at, where I'm centered, go get my albums. Mm. You will know from Loli where, what kind of situation I was in, the, uh, the album, Pendul, like I always do this. From the first album, a lonely way, way to the love. I was trying to get and reach to my destiny. Yes. And then I came to Pandula, Pandula, the second album. Because now I felt like, okay, I made uh, my dream, right? Because I wanted to inspire. But I, I saw that I'm not the only one. All around the world, sir, we are suffering the same things. It's not only me who's right. in trouble, whatever, it's just because I'm on TV. So, Gossiam Pendula, all around the world. And I went to Mali. That's the third album because I saw in this industry that I'm in. Yeah. Yo, Imali, I don't mind. Just give me what I was working for. Whatever we agreed on, that was it. And then I went to Mgodi. That's the fourth album, which is Mgodi, Mgodi, the Zimmelanga. Fourth album because I felt like, hey, bra, I was just running from something that I was not prepared to be running from. Mm. So I went to this pit without knowing, without being prepared, like with the ladder when I want to go up, I will go up, or with the rope when I want to go up, I will just climb up. But now I needed somebody to take me out from there. That's the, the meaning of the whole album. Go right. get that. That's the fourth album. Now the my fifth album. Darling, <laughs> The fifth album, which is called Mom, go and get it, and then you understand my headspace. It's like, I just want God. I always say, you can strip me naked. You can take anything away, but I always say, God, preserve my soul. Yeah. When you preserve my soul, that means I have a chance. I still have, as long as I'm breathing and I'm living, I still have a chance to make a choice mm. and to make a change. Sure. What you've just mentioned now about Imali is is very important, given, again, Part of what you're also contesting, and you've touched on it, you know, just mm. wanting what's due to you insofar as the work you've been able to contribute. Mm. What have those conversations been like? Are you feeling like you're making headway? Uh, for me, it's, uh, for example, though, uh, did you contact a legal team? Did you, at the end of the day, if I say I don't have money, how am I going to afford yeah. lawyers right. and stuff? But let me tell you something. After I've spoken out, there are so many now. So we are busy now with the step by step from Lolly Way to when I was an ambassador to some of the other companies I won't mention now. Sure. So in, in everything of mine, so we're busy with that. I'm still going to come back and say here on the table. Okay, that's fair enough. Yeah. Um, you know, there's that saying about when times are tough, friends are few. I'm sure lessons have also been learned about the people who you've been surrounded by. I know, there was, the there, was, there was this video that was uh, circulating, right? Mm. And I was like, you know, even you can talk about me, oh, Zara, oh, yeah, say, oh, Zara, oh, yeah, I'm going to drink, so what not. You have never seen me, not in on paper, with a glass in my hand. Mm. Not even in a cup with a beer in my hand. But you always say sauce is saying, I always wonder, is it a tomato sauce or is it a mayonnaise? That's so it's, that is busy. Because at the end of the day, what I do in my house, I do in my house. So who's wrong? It's the person that is outside that comes in my house that allow, that I allowed to come into my house. I can go naked in my house if I want to. So if you are in my house and you take a picture of me in my house, then you are wrong. If I'm drinking in my house and you take a photo or a video of that, you are wrong because I never went, I stepped out of my house yeah. and went to your house or went to your, and, and whatever. It's always in my house. That's why it's only that visa that was circulating because it's those people, they pretended to come and comfort me when my sister passed on. Hmm. They are the ones who brought booze, they are the ones who brought meat, and they are the ones who took the video and they are the ones who took it to TikTok. In my house. Even today, if I want to drink, I will drink in my house, if I want to. Right. I'm old enough. Yeah, and you're absolutely in your right to do so. Exactly, yeah. in my house. That's why you have never seen a video of me anywhere, even just with the beer in my hand. Mm. That's really difficult to, to deal with, especially when you describe that you're in mourning at that time. Yeah, you know, they came to comfort me. Yeah, yeah, which is a moment of, of vulnerability, really. But, um, again, as we take stock of, of the lessons that you've learned along the way, how has that changed your interaction? Let me tell you something with everything. If they were true friends, if they were, obviously, we know they're friends. If they were friends, in no ways I was going to come out and say, please, people, can you help me with my house? Can you help me with this? If they were there, yeah. I promise you, they would have come in. But it's what they wanted 
is the downfall. You will never rise from a downfall of somebody else because you don't have their gift. Their gift is theirs. If they fall, they fall with their gift. It will never come to you. That's what you must understand in life. Even if you can bewitch someone, you can bewitch them, but you can never have what they have. Mm. Powerful words. Let's speak about what lies ahead. Um, you already touched on the fourth album. I uh, understand there's also plans of some kind of shows. I don't want to put words in your mouth. Yes. Tell us what, what lies ahead insofar as your music is concerned. Oh, my God. Um, it was so beautiful. I was in Congo even right now. Yeah. Um, but last weekend. And besides that, I'm doing a tour. So I'll be in your province. I'll be in your cities. I'll be in your villages. I started because I'm celebrating 11 years in the game. Yeah, yeah. 11 years. Whether it is nice, it's tough. It, I do not regret. I love the fact that I inspire, even if it's just one soul out there. So I'm celebrating since slowly, 11 years. Sure. In the game. So I'll be in your cities. I'll be in your provinces. I'm doing a tour. And don't, don't forget, still waiting for that stadium. <laughs> <laughs> One thing about you is that at least you still know how to sell yourself. Look, <laughs> Zahara, I remember very clearly when Loli were dropped. It was a song you couldn't avoid. And if there's things about anointings and special gifts out there, you're certainly among the people who are counted. So keep your head up. I thank get the you. sense that it's nowhere near over until the fat lady sings as the saying goes. So thank you very much for coming in to speak to us. Thank you so best. much. Like I always say, maybe I'll die on stage. Yeah. It's not a talent, it's a gift. So you've got no choice. Oh, man. And we're very lucky to be able to share in that gift. Zahara, a South African musician, of course, uh, speaking to us about a whole range of issues, including her journey thus far. Once again, Zahara, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you so much for having me. All right, still ahead for you as we hit the home stretch of the show. We'll bring you the latest from the world of sports with Dumi Khaswe. We'll see you in a bit.